Hey guys, uh, I'm in the process of making a few uh, hidden tang knives, uh, the old classic style uh, knives with a leather handle. And I wanted to make this video, I made a video like this, uh, similar to this, uh, several years ago. And I wanted to kind of uh, redo it so that uh, you'll see uh, there's been a couple of little changes and everything. And uh, I wanted to redo it so that you'll know uh, exactly how I go about doing these hidden tang knives where they're very strong and you will not have any trouble with handles breaking off and that kind of stuff. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say that there are, um, there is a lot that goes on in a hidden tang knife, especially with leather washers, you know, when you're putting all that together. Uh, you have to make the guard, you have to make the butt cap, uh, you have to make the grind and heat treat the knife. You have to make the spacers. If you're doing put spacers in it, you also have to do that. So there's a lot going on there, uh, a, a good bit more than what you have in just a uh, full tang knife with two slabs, you know, on each side without a guard. Uh, when you add a guard or you add butt cap and you add uh, spacers and all of that, well, it just adds up to more time. <laughs> so and when you add more time, well, that means that I have to be working more. So that means that the knife costs more. So uh, I just wanted to inform you of that so that you'll know why uh, uh, Randall is charging like $440 for theirs now, you know. So uh, you, you, and then that's a carbon steel 01 model, you know, so that. Uh, that's, uh, that's the reason that the price is that big. Of course, uh, I, I'm just one old man here doing this. So this, it, uh, it's a little, uh, I can't put out a whole lot of them like they can. So, uh, I can do a few along once in a while. So, so that you can, uh, have, uh, those, uh, some of you like those. And so that's why I'm doing a few right now. Okay, let me show you here. I'll just give you an overview of what uh, I've got here. Uh, the, this is the uh, what I've got laid out. Of course, I got the the spacers and and everything there, the the knife and everything that I'm going to be these three that I'm going to be doing uh, over the next uh, this week sometime. I got to go to the grocery store today, so uh, don't know how much I'm getting done today. But anyhow, uh, <clears throat> I use this, uh, on these leather ones, I use a quarter inch thick uh, leather. I just ordered this. I had run out and I ordered this and got it in. And you have to cut all of that out. You have to strip it out into strips like this. Uh, <clears throat> and then you have to uh, have to cut it, you know, the right size. And then you got to knock the holes in it. Uh, so that's uh, that's that's the kind of leather that I use on it. And of course, on a butt cap, uh, I use, uh, I, I go ahead and I put uh, uh, a mortise it into the tang. You can see that, I hope, uh, where I mortise it into the tang. I drill a hole in the end and thread it, and I put a screw in there. Sometimes I'll do a uh, an all thread and put a nut on the back of it, but I put that, that's the way the butt cap goes on. Uh, <clears throat> also, uh, the way I do the hilt right in here is a little different from some. Uh, it helps to be able to not have stress riders and so forth. I try not to uh, get this part heat treated. I, I try to leave it soft right in here also. And uh, when the, when the uh, hilt goes on, well, it goes on uh, over the tang like this and slides up on those deals. And then uh, I solder it onto the blade there. Uh, so, uh, soldering, it, uh, it, I can do it when it's, uh, this is a stainless steel hilt and this is a carbon steel blade. So I can solder it like that. But if it's stainless steel to stainless steel, I have to use JB weld in there because soldering stainless to stainless just does not work very well. Okay, um, what else should I tell you about? Well, I guess that's about it as far as I know. I have these three that I'm doing now, so 
uh, they'll be on the website. I'll send out an email or whatever to, if, whenever I get, I get them done. Hopefully that gives you kind of an overview. These are going to run somewhere around three. Uh, the base model, an 80 CRV2 carbon steel, <coughs> which is better, I believe, than 01, uh, works really well for a knife. These are going to be in that, and uh, they do not rust as easily as 01 does, although they will rust if you do not care for them. Uh, if you go to the stainless steel, well, there's more time involved in S35EN in doing it. There's more time involved. The steel is much more expensive, so the knife has to be uh, probably 60 or $70 more uh, when you do it in stainless steel. So that's <clears throat> just wanted to let y'all know that is why I'm doing them right now in in the uh, 80 CRV2 because it is a little cheaper and a little, I can get them out a little faster like that, okay? And it's a great steel. Uh, so, um, hope you have uh, enjoyed this video. If you like it, hit the like button. And subscribe to the channel also. Uh, I'll get out videos whenever I can. Sometimes it's it's a long time between them because my internet connection is not good out here. I have to go into town to get it uploaded. Okay, talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great day. Watch out. Be safe.